back to your new racing and driver training tutorial series. Um, what we're going to look at today, um, based upon some feedback from our previous videos, um, is how to set up Google API keys um, and input these into Racetrack Builder. Um, I said in the previous video that Racetrack Builder has a guide um, on how to do this. Um, however, it is pretty um, confusing and hard to follow. Um, and I have struggled when following it as well. Um, particularly because Google um, obviously updates its interface every now and then. Um, so everything looked a bit different to what the guide said. Um, so I'll run through this, how to get the keys today. Um, and hopefully it'll be a bit easier to follow um, than the guide that Racetrack Builder put up. All right, so I'm going to go um, free, like vaguely off the guide. Um, so that's the link up there. I'll also put that down in, um, in the description below. Um, and I'm gonna, not going to read through all this, um, but I'm just going to use these links here. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is create a Google account if you don't already have one. Um, I already have one, so I'll just sign into my account here instead. All right, so this should come up once you've signed into your account. Um, and the only thing that we actually need to do on this Google account page um, is set up our payment method. Um, so this might seem a bit weird having to set up a payment method um, when you obviously you don't want to be spending any money um, on this. Um, and hopefully you shouldn't um, because um, Google provides $200, 200 US dollars um, per month free for using um, services such as these um, Google Maps APIs, um, which should give you around 80 tracks per month. Um, most people obviously wouldn't go over this, um, so you should be fine. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, um, this is really the only way to set up the Google APIs. Um, so yeah, maybe you can get another card or something and maybe put a certain amount of money on it, um, something like that. Um, so what we do here is we go down payment and subscriptions. I'll click on here, manage payment methods. And once you're in here, you have to um, add some sort of payment method. Um, obviously, you can say, I already have my um, card set up in there. So I'll click back. And this is the only thing that I'll need to set up in this Google account page. So I'll click back to our um, Racetrack Builder Guide. And I'm going to click on this next link down here um, for the dashboard. So this will take you to your Google Cloud platform. Um, and it might look a bit different to this because I already have my project set up. Um, but what you want to do firstly is to create a new project. So click on this tab up at the top here and then click create project. Um, you can name the project whatever you like. I'll just leave it as that. Um, create the project. Now once we've done that, you can either click select project here or um, if you head up to this tab down here um, you have to select your new project uh, if you only have one and i'm assuming that i would just automatically select that um, it's good to just double check that all right so once we've created our project we'll need to create some credentials for our project um, so on the left here you'll see the credentials tab i'll click on that and I'm going to click up here, create credentials. Um, if you look in here, API keys, um, currently I have no API keys to display. So I'll click up here, um, create credentials, go down to this API key, that's what we want. Click on that, might take a few seconds to create. Um, and this is actually your API key that you'll be putting into Racetrack a little later. Um, so it's a good idea to just copy this at the current time. Um, saves you having to find it again later and we'll click here restrict key um, okay so they talk about restricting um, keys in this guide um, but they made it a bit confusing in there um, that if we restrict it at the moment we don't actually have the api keys up to restrict um, so we can't we can't do that at the moment um, so that's maybe where some people might go wrong um, so yeah 
So we'll create the credentials, we've created an API key, and it's come up down here. All right, so I think we'll go back to our dashboard now. <clears throat> and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna enable APIs and services. So I'll click that up there. Once we're in here, we're gonna search for our two APIs that we need. So the first one is Google Maps Static or sorry, Google. Yeah, maps map static API. Um, so that's the one that we want. I'll click on that and I'll click enable. Okay, so that might take a little while to enable, um, but then it should come up here in your enabled APIs. Um, the next one we'll need, so you can see, is this elevation one. Um, however, if it's not there, you just type up here something like elevation. This is the one we want maps elevation API. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click enable. Um, so obviously this gives you your elevation data um, while the other one gives you more of your terrain. All right, so they're the two that we need. Um, once that's done, all we is left to do is to now restrict our two keys. Um, if we head back here to credentials, I'm going to click in here and I'm going to go down to restrict key. Um, obviously, don't use this API um, because I'm going to change it after, um, after this video. So create your own ones. Um, and I'm going to click in here, maps elevation, maps static. Click OK. So I've restrict, restricted those two APIs. I'm going to click Save. And then you should see this little tick come up here saying that that's all good, and that's all ready to go. All right, so if you haven't copied it already, we could copy it from here. Uh, but all that's left to do now is to input them uh, into Racetrack Builder. So I'm going to go launch Racetrack Builder, uh, create a new project. So I'll get rid of my old API key I have there. So I'm just going um, Control V in there. If I click on test here, you should see um, the past. If it says failed, um, then yeah, something must have gone wrong in that previous part of the video. All right, so I'll just click OK, whatever. Just change the name first. I don't know what test number I'm up to, but I'll click OK. Um, and yeah, so that's loading up now, wherever I had it set to last. Um, and yeah, that's that's all there is to it. Um, hopefully that was easier to follow than um, the guide that the racetrack builder already had up. And yeah, hope that can get you started um, and get you editing on Racetrack Builder. I'll see you in the next video.